welcome back to my channel. So here we are, we're just going on our um, cable car ride, or gondola as they call it here, up to Mount Pilatus. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's Mount and then it's P-I-L-A-T-U-S. It's in the district of Concern. So we're going up there, we bought our tickets yesterday, had to print them out, so that's all a bit of a nightmare because we had to find somewhere to be able to print them, they do not accept kind of, um, you know, a photograph copies of the tickets, you have to have the paper copy, so that's something to note there. And we've just got here with our tickets to find that we cannot really get the um, cogwheel train back because we have parked our vehicle here where the cable car is and in order to get the train back you then go to a different um, you know exit and so then we would have to get a boat trip back to get back here to the car park so a boat trip and a train at an additional cost of 30 francs per person so it makes it pretty expensive because this trip uh, I think worked out about 220 francs for the you know for the family and then obviously the additional cost of the 30 francs, uh, Swiss francs per person would kind of make it pretty extortionate. So we are just getting the cable car up and then back. So that's kind of that. And you know, that will be good enough. So we're in the queue now, ready to get on the cable car. I will be back with some views hopefully momentarily. Great glass elevator. Oh yeah. And Charlie and the chocolate factory. Yeah. But these are just the houses. They're going up to that hill. They're still <laughs> We're in a cable car. Cable car. We can close that when it gets airless. That one thinks, oh I've got on the wrong side. <laughs>
a bit of kind of coming up that we've just got off. Again, spectacular views. the top look at that view this is amazing absolutely amazing spectacular so we will go up there in a moment hopefully wow just check out those views and although it's busy up here Plenty of space. It's about 11 in the morning, so it's taken us about an hour, I guess, to get up here, just under. Check out this view. Wow. <laughs> I'm not used to filming on my phone, so uh, 
taken the little path so we've walked round from that bit over there if you can see it with the kind of building and there's a path that is even suitable for wheelchairs I saw someone on along here pushing a wheelchair which absolutely great accessible for everybody Is that okay? That's fine. and there's the cogwheel train again Okay, let's get walking then. and then we've come up a few steps and it continues on right up to that peak right up there if you can kind of see so we're going to see if we can make it up there it depends kind of how the path is if it gets a bit dangerous then obviously we will not bother it's just me and the boys so uh, left the other two down the bottom Catch you in a minute, hopefully. So here we are, we made it to the top. Pretty spectacular view. It definitely not wheelchair friendly. In fact, not even foot friendly. <laughs> it was uh, pretty jagged and uneven and not really kind of a footpath as such. So I'm not overly looking forward to making our way back down from here. But we are really high up and the view is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Can't even see where we came from now. Um, obviously the other side of that mountain there but can't see it anywhere so we're just up here now had a little bit of a snack and a bit of water rest our legs for a couple of minutes before we go back down
stop number one. 